Hey folks, it's Florida Deer. Thanks for joining me today. We have an empty trailer now, but we're about to load that up with a relatively local find. And this is the second deer hunt of the month. And second one of this week. In a few minutes, I'll show you what we're getting. With today's deer hunt, we netted this GX345 plus an MC519 card. Before I get any further though, if you hit the like button, that would help a bunch. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click on the lower right hand corner. Okay, so here's what we ended up getting. It's a GX345. So says the hood. That's right. Got the hood in here, parts of the hood, and parts of the old engine. Then there's a replacement engine right there. And we got a, I believe this is a 54, yeah, 54 inch deck. And I figured it had the power flow, but I wasn't sure. And it does have the pulley there. So that's pretty slick. And here's the replacement engine that it has. I don't know if it runs, supposedly it's supposed to, but I don't know yet. And then we have the MCS here and it looks like it's in pretty good shape i've never had one of these so i'm gonna have to kind of figure that out but most of it's in decent shape I have to see if i might try to see if this will work on the 322 and if it does i might transplant it over there wheels and tires look good the fender pan uh, got the got the uh Right, take it easy there <laughs> gee whiz got the uh power flow gx54 so it does have some damage on the bottom end of it let's cut into right there but overall it spins fine and everything we want to check that and we got the busted hood and the grill and headlights look good and it's got the chute there too so i would say overall this was um for 400 bucks i didn't think this was a bad deal so it's the best deal i've ever gotten i don't know about that but i think i'll be able to use some parts and certainly sell the rest and make my money back for sure and end up with some extra parts or maybe even some extra money we'll see but we got to get it unloaded and start cleaning up everything and seeing what we're working with here. And I might try to install a motor to see if it works, but I'm more inclined to probably pull some GTK on this thing and make my money that way. But we'll see. Okay, so you might wonder why would I part out a tractor versus, you know, trying to make it a new project to rehab finish and resell as you know a refurbished tractor that i could get a lot more for i only paid 400 dollars for that gx 345 so it's not like i have you know a big investment into it already and there's some parts i probably could sell if i wanted to sell the mc19 cart and some stuff i could probably pay for the initial purchase but in parting it out, I get to do a couple other things. For one, I add, I don't add another project to, you know, my list of projects I already have. I do add the little project of taking it apart for sure, but I do another, do something else. So I can focus on my 140, obviously. And I have this little storage additions to the 322. So it, part of it went there. Part of it is here with these beautiful rims and tires that hold air and look pretty. They'll go to my father-in-law's GT235. Here are a bunch of the parts that are for sale or will be for sale soon. The MC519 cart and PowerFlow will be a separate project. 
these tires to sell as well and maybe use on another project. These things look so good, I kind of don't want to give them away. I mean, I have no use for them, but I think they're so pretty. And the tires are in good shape. I just would, I just almost hate to sell them. <laughs> and um, we'll sell this once we get it running and stuff. I have another parts guy coming to get this probably it's over the winter sometime for you know an undisclosed amount he'll resell it for a lot more but i'm cool with that and this 54 inch deck i'll resell this to somebody in need what i'll do is i'll clean it up i think this is in really good shape the the underneath is slightly rusted but not that really rusted at all i'll take these parts off and sell the power flow units or parts separately I'll redo all the bearings on that so it's mechanically as sound as it will be cosmetically once I clean it up. Then that also came with the, the power flow, which is in this box. So, and this is just 140 parts right here. But the power flow that came with the GX345 is in there. I have that up for. 200 bucks on eBay, so it'll eventually sell. And then the seat that came off of that um, tractor, the GX345 uh, that I got, went to Thomas's tractor. His seat was all ate up, so we um, decided to switch that over. So that's the reason why sometimes I will part out versus creating another project. It's really multifaceted. I do like to redo stuff. Hey folks, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you didn't, I guess you could hit the dislike button as well and if you wanted to see more videos about the John Deere garden tractors or my one series as you see in this clip you can hit the subscribe button in your upper left hand corner thanks for watching bye